Donovan Questenberry here with DIV Cleaning Service. We are out at a client's house. Um, as you can tell, they have gutter guards uh, across the whole house. And this is a perforated metal type of guard. Um, this end goes up where the shingles are. This end screws down. Um, you can see the screw holes where I unscrewed it um, on the lip of the gutter. And uh, we came out two weeks ago, three weeks ago, something like that, and cleaned out the gutters for them, which when the client has gutter guards, um, our cleaning is cleaning off the debris off the top of the gutters. And you can see right in here, you can even tell in the video where this is bent out. Um, so our guys looking through these little holes, they saw in some areas um, the bottom of the gutter and they just assumed that they were working properly because at the downspouts, um, the downspouts are partially open. When we took a leaf blower, there was a lot of air coming out through the downspout. Um, so they just assumed without really inspecting underneath the guards that everything was working properly um, And they assumed that the reason why it was overflowing is because right here This part of the gutter is really loose possibly missing some brackets um, Or possibly, you know, it's just pulled away a little bit um, I'll attach some photos right here so you can guys can see what I'm talking about And the client took the advice of us of the gutter cleaners hired a repair guy to come out. He took up the guards and was like, hey, these are filled up with crap, which they absolutely were. So uh, we definitely missed the debris that got underneath the gutter guards. And I'm quite frankly shocked about the amount of debris that's underneath these because uh, these are a good style of guards that lets very little underneath them. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take off the guards here. I'm going to add extra brackets right here. Um, I'm going to um, flush out and actually snake out um, with a hydro jet. Uh, I'm going to run that the length of the gutter and make sure that everything's completely flushed out and that there's no debris underneath these anymore so that the client should be good to go. Um, I'll test uh, how much water is actually, um, I'll put the water hose on the roof and we'll test how much water is uh, overflowing the gutters completely or getting into the gutters with these. And so here's the process for us getting this client's gutters uh, correct.
So these are almost filled up to the top with water right here because it's the lower section. Is that because of the bracket, the bracket? Yeah. All yours are just bent from the amount of weight that's been on them. They're just bent away from the house. So this isn't gripping into anything. Gutter should be up here. So, you still got a low spot right here, but it's only about three quarters of an inch now, where it's about two inches before. Um, so, if you decide to take the gutter guards off and we can repitch the whole gutter, then we can fix it. But for at least now, it will drain. Um, but it's kind of a band aid solution as opposed to redoing everything. So, just to let you know. Yep. Yeah, because all all the metal and everything's bent right here in the middle, the gutter, and so we really got to reset it from the middle out. Right now, we're putting a lot of tension on there, and. Like I said, without redoing the whole thing, it's you can only do so much. So,
can see the guard is bent. That's how much the, the gutter kinked on you right there. I said probably when they redid the roof. I don't know, did they take the gutter off at all? No? They might have stepped on it or... They're kind of rough. They get a lot of materials that... pile up on it. Of course my battery's trying to die on me on the last two screws. Come on, one more screw, that's all I need you to last. Good job. <laughs> 